Hello, we are Caleb and Alicia McCollum, and we are excited about going to Germany to be an extension of the hand of Christ, reaching out to help pull souls from the devastation of eternal fire. Recently, we had the privilege of taking our survey trip to Germany, and as we traveled through the country, the Lord allowed us to clearly see what He wants us to do. The German people have history. They have culture and beauty. And they even have religion. But now, more than ever, they need the Savior. The landscape of German history has been molded out of times of great struggle. Struggles such as the occupation and persecution of the Holy Roman Empire against Christians. Struggles such as the stand of Martin Luther and the Protestant reformers whose firm fight for religious freedom forever changed the course of the world. We remember the evils of Hitler and the Third Reich and the many millions of innocent people slaughtered under the rule of his Nazi dictatorship. The German people have even endured the terrible effects of a divided nation bound by the grip of communism. And we remember the declaration of President Ronald Reagan when he said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Finally, the walls came down and Germany became the nation she is today. A nation with a thriving economy, currently ranked number one in all of Europe, with all the modern conveniences any thriving nation benefits from. Yet, the shadow of the past, even to this day, remains engraved in the culture of the people. From its delicious food, to its street musicians, Germany is rich in culture and tradition. The way of life is different in several ways from that of America. Since gas is above $8 per gallon there, most people ride bikes, walk, or take the Strassenbahn. Every evening, the Germans will generally have a coffee and cake time. And it is coffee, contrary to popular belief, that is the most common drink there. Most everything is taxed, including dog ownership and the use of television. There is even a fee for public restrooms and shopping carts. The German people are very hospitable and kind. They are easy to engage in conversation, which will be a blessing as we seek to reach them. Germany is full of beautiful sights, from castles, to open fields, to majestic mountains, to magnificent cathedrals and buildings. There is no lack of wonderful sights to behold. Both the natural and man-made beauty of Germany are a testimony to the existence and greatness of our Creator, of whom many of the people there need to be introduced to. Germany is a land and people that pride themselves in their religion. So much of their history revolves around religious events. As of now, the historical involvement of Catholicism and the religion of the reformer, Martin Luther, are still the dominant groups with about 34% of the population each. That's two-thirds of the entire nation. Although every German citizen must pay a religious tax to one of these two churches, there are many Germans who are seeing the corruption and lies of the state churches, and they are leaving. The result of this is large, beautiful cathedrals and Lutheran churches that present a very mighty religious facade, but they're very empty on the inside. And that leaves the people with empty hearts as well. At this point in history, Germans are searching for answers, which is why I believe the Muslim faith is now at 3.7% of the population and steadily and very rapidly increasing. Christian brothers and sisters, these lost and desperate souls don't need another road to the same place. They need Jesus Christ. Some people say that Europeans are hard to reach with the gospel. So why make an investment that is going to provide a little return over a long period of time? May I remind you of the words of the Lord to Abraham and Sarah when he said, Is anything too hard for the Lord? I submit that the problem is not in the lack of fruit, but rather in the laborers. 
There is a need for ones who are willing to first plow up the hard ground so the seed can be planted, then watered, then God can give the increase. It will take time for the gospel to break through the hard ground of what most of the German people have been taught their entire lives. It takes time for the gospel to carve a path in a nation only just a couple of decades removed from the godless division of communism and an education system that still, in many ways, matches its philosophy. When we were out door knocking and passing out tracks in a neighborhood in Germany on our survey trip, we ran across a six-year-old boy who, when receiving the track, looked back up at us and said, Sirs, don't you know that there's no way anyone can know a God exists? While I believe that there is much hard ground still to plow, I also believe that we are at a point in time where a good number of people in this nation are ready for seed planting. We must work the works of him that sent us while it is day, for the night cometh when no man can work.